Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Yes, sir, Mike, Lieutenant Rakir, at your service. And welcome back to Evil Land 2 for the ninth time, if my counter is correct. And let's see, what did we do last time? Well, first off, we got an into a tournament. Come on, move. There, okay, for some reason the game was unselected. Uh, yeah, last time we got into a sort of a Candy Crush tournament, or competitive <laughs> Candy Crush tournament, where we learned that, uh, no, we also learned that the chief of these people is a goddamn snowman. And we've got a bit of a Soul Reaver thing going on, because the book that Velvet is using to cast magic and such, uh, well, we, we just won that very same book, so now we need to ensure that she will find that book in the from here future, uh, otherwise we'll be causing a paradox. And I think the time is unstable enough as it is, so we need to hand the book over to this guy. Sod Snail? Here? Okay, we've seen this before. Uh, mm -hmm. Look at the Grand Scrabbles. Yeah, here we go. Uh, you'll want something to read while you're going around. Also, I looked it up. You need three mana to upgrade a character to the next level. <coughs> here, we wanted to entrust this book to you. Oh, and I just realized I didn't set a timer. Uh, let's see. Two, five, eight, double zero, and... Eh. We always go a little bit over time anyways. It's a very viable... Yeah, it's a very valuable tome from the ancient Magi civilization. You absolutely must bring it to the Imperial Library in one piece. A book from the Magi era? Error. I think I almost said error. <laughs> <laughs> what an extraordinarily rare find. I don't know how to thank you. Oh wait, here's, here's something. I came across this odd stone in the frozen cavern. It certainly doesn't equal your book, but it's all I have to give in return. And that's going to be... Yep, the fragment of ice. Sorry again that I have nothing better to trade for this book. I... I believe this will be more than enough. <laughs> well, I'm off to trot the globe again. Best of luck to you all. And up there we go. Okay, that means three of five pieces. We know that we, we're not supposed to be able to get the last piece, but we do know where the second to last one is. It's in the, uh, the Sylph Forest. We just need to figure out how to actually make progress in that maze. Yeah, oh, don't forget. Southern of people, the snowman's name is Jon Snow. Yeah. <laughs> and we told him, you know nothing. <laughs> so, like, yeah. I, I like some game full memes, but... Uh, some have been almost overdone. Yeah, like winter is coming. Well done. You have the fragment of ice. In the future, the frozen continent has almost disappeared. I hope the Vikings will learn how to swim. <laughs> I wouldn't like to feel responsible for the desperation. That's a word you don't see often. Would you, Goggles? Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of the Major Key. Oh dear God. Uh, I was thinking of something, but I already <laughs> forgotten it. All right, uh, now remember. Winter is coming works since it kind of works since it's kind of true. Like you, you, uh, winter is always coming. Yeah. Oh, that's a portal. Uh, for a second, I thought I saw something through the glow, through the gloom there, but it's the portal. Okay. No, we just need to dock here, and then just find out how the hell we're supposed to get through this maze because last time we got stuck at the very first in here <laughs> at the freaking entrance okay yep yep i accidentally skipped that well uh, yeah bad hill very bad hill 
Yeah, I think it was her just, uh, <clears throat> yeah, just commenting on the fact that every time we got here, we get sent back to the second era. Okay. Well, let's give this another try, and if needed, I will look up a solution. Yeah, just at the I noticed, moment. Hmm? Uh, Jose, I noticed today that we all are almost going over 10 mark with this one. Yeah, <laughs> this game has been taking quite a lot longer than I expected. Though not as yeah, long as it... Dave. Yeah, uh, Dave, we underestimated me. Before it was a side quest. But it was actually a main quest quality. This one yep. seemed to have a main quest linked, possibly. Yeah, again, I'm. this game is not bad. I'm just not as good with this style of RPG often. Uh, technically, RPG is this style of game. This can be very dragged out at times. Just look at some of the Final Fantasies. Uh, but yeah, this... I will, I will not say that this is a bad game, it's just, well, the other games that we've got going are better. <laughs> just plain and simple yeah. as that. Yeah, I'm kind of... After playing David Dive in this one, oh, well, I've been playing with these two, two games for a while. I noticed that David Diver knew it's a long game, and they knew how to pay put it together for the long term well with uh, with facing and all yeah yeah pacing not facing yeah pa pacing <laughs> thank you pacing this one however is yeah, not it horrible, has... just a bit hit and miss and a bit rough with it instead yeah and again this wasn't made by a triple a company or anything uh, it was Dave. true but that still had a bigger company to it Okay. Let's see. If I remember correctly, we can swap back and forth between two arrows, the first and second. There's one of those things up there. Oh, wait. <laughs> Is that the trick? We need to get them to move by hitting them in a direction that they... Okay, okay. I, I thought when, when I attacked it from the side, I thought it was going to be invulnerable, but no. We just need to give it a... <laughs> we just need to... <laughs> we just need to spank the fucking thing and then it'll move. Okay, that's it. Okay. Yes, people, I noticed it accidentally made a pun. I'm um, just going to ignore that and just look around for how the hell, uh, how the hell to continue with this. Uh, you said okay. okay. As in oak. As you hit the damn thing with the sword. <laughs> okay, what that's an instant the kill. Heck? Question is, if that is that an instant kill if we keep looking at it, or if we look away from it? What kind of sound is that? The sound of wood getting spanked. Uh, it sounded like it wheezes. Okay, it's not about looking at it, it's just being... It's being in that, which is going to be lethal. Okay. Hmm. Let's get this thing moving, then move to the other era and see how that changes things. And there. Okay, yeah, now the path is clear. Okay. Hmm, but that thing is still here. Okay. Well, oh, I see already. Let's... okay. <laughs> oh, okay, we can also go into the third area here. Okay, that... Is it just... It's still alive, but it's... An elder oak, you could say. Okay, it's just too old to attack, it seems. 
Okay. But those are now too big to get through. Okay, I think I can't even what the sound is. It's... I mean, it's wheezing like an old man. Okay, that's blocked still. So we go over here. And we go to the first era. Okay. Oh no. This bit is basically like uh, a lot of the puzzles from Evo Lands 2, but evolved to have three eras that you, you know, or th three time periods that you travel th uh, through. Okay, that's blocks the way back. Straight to the third era. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, there's one of those. Yeah, these are some tough radishes. Uh, let's see. Is that moving you? <laughs> Grandfather Oaks. Hmm. All right. I do wonder, uh, I do wonder how much more... Oop. How much more of the game there will be after we get the Magi key? That sounds like a, a very uh, end game thing, or at least very yeah. close to end game. <clears throat> see, what are you? Is that a little sampling? Yeah, coming up. I thought we would be done with this already. Yeah. Then okay. again, many episodes ago we we. May have to look at this up uh, at some point. Probably we forget to do it. I think at episode 2 or 3, Marco said we were halfway through when we were in that ruin in the free world for the first time. And now we're on episode 9, so... Yeah. Do <laughs> again. I'm not sure if he said it or not, but he have, uh, I do can confirm he has said that the... He doesn't remember fully of the game, so... We just hit these things down and the others pop up. Yeah, it looks like that ghost thing has that death effect in every direction. Let's see, if we push this down, what will happen with... Actually, it'll pop the others up, it's just a... Let's see. Oh. Okay, are you too old to work anymore or something? Hmm. Oh, okay, these are too old to move as well. Okay. So that means we go back here. Punch that down. Then we go back, forwards more. Okay, we can pass through here. Let's not set that off. We can freeze that. And yeah, now, now, now there's a, an actual oak there. Instead of just a sapling. Okay. Can we make you move somehow? Or are you just... Okay, collectible star. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, that was just extra, but we can make some progress here, since now this shadow thing is going to be inactive. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, that'll be more of an issue with this thing now in the way. I doubt we can cut it. No, it's too old to cut. Does that thing... Just grow where it stops with this, because... Yeah, it's just moving around still here. Wait, it's moving... But it isn't blocking anymore. That might be the trick. Well done, Hillian. Well done. Let's see, where does it stop now? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I put velvet... It's still there. Okay. I'm... Lost it. 
but it's moving around like you just run past it. Oh. Yeah, I think the, now. This thing is still uh, this thing is still active. So if we try to run across, we're going. Oh, oh, I see it. Okay. There, there we go. Oh. All right, I was right. Just didn't know you were. Also, do you seem to block that thing? Okay, what is the trick here? We've got. Okay, I didn't notice it on. Don't tell me that puts us back. Okay, that put us a bit back, but not as much as I'd feared. Okay, just let that thing unfreeze. There we go. Uh, really? Oh. That was a bullshit one. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it's the very same one. I think we can run past that as the tomato thing comes down. Yep, there we go. Uh, but we can't go anywhere from here. Okay. Can we hit that from over here? If we charge level 2? Yes, we can. But will it actually do anything or not? Hmm. We can just freeze it so we can make it past here. Uh, yeah, that that should have oh come that should have been fixed. That should if the thing is frozen in front of it, it should just let you pass, not just do stupid links like that. And hello, Marco. Instead of big apple, tomato, strawberry. I'm guessing tomato is closest. Hello, Marco. Hope you're doing well today. It's not strawberry. Okay. Let's hear from Marco. I just woke up. Okay, oh you are blocking the path. But you know how to move them. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, ghost chest. Hmm. Okay, if we walk in front of this thing, we die. We can't reach the mushroom down there. Ow. Okay, that would have gotten us killed. There. Then we punch this down, and I'm guessing there is something we can do in the other area here. Too early. Okay, just unfreeze. There we go. When it's walking sideways, then we are ensured that it's that it's blocking its sights. Okay. Now all of them are inactive. Except for the slimes. Okay, yeah. Oh, hold on. No, that's that chest is still ghostly, but. Wrong one. Slash. Okay. Yeah, now that we, now that I see it in 3D, it is, she is casting from that book. We're using it to cast. Hmm. What will that make a difference in? Okay, let's see. Uh, this reminds me of Minish Cap. Okay. I don't think I've ever played that game myself, but I have seen someone play through it. Never heard of. Never heard of. Uh, not going to risk that. It's one of the Game Boy Advanced uh, Zeldas. It's a uh, actually pretty good one as well. Okay, 
right, nothing to see there. Dip, dip. I forgot that thing. And, okay, it did put a save in between, it seems. Nice about that. Okay. Is those Need kinda to... count as a uh, save point? Yeah, since we changed something in the timeline, it's allowed that. But still, how do we progress here? Actually, there's no question how we progress. Since now we can punch the mushrooms down, we just do this. Not entirely Damn. sure why we wanted the tree moved up. Nope. Yoda tree? Come and disturb me, who does? Oh, do no. I even need this? I don't they, even need to say. They didn't even hide it. Watch out, goggles. He seems pretty tough. You can count on me, goggles. I'm going to use my full strength in this battle. Wait. Yeah, I, I had a feeling about this. <laughs> this is most certainly the forest guardian. Yeah, with how much they were talking that yeah, bit up, of course this was going to be a fake out. I can't believe I almost turned him into wood chips. Uh, you're, I think you're overestimating yourself in there a bit there, Fina. We are sincerely sorry, Mr. Guardian, sir. I'm not certain he can understand us. He seems in rather poor health. Let's try using the Sylph's Tear. <laughs> you could have just automatically used it, game. Uh, let's see, Marco, we already know what this is a reference to, yeah. <laughs> From this, the Sadista's evil influence healed me, you have. My thanks, you have, younglings. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're doing better, Forest Guardian. The Guardians we ran into before were slightly more... aggressive. Reward you I must, yes. Sadly, very, do, very little do I possess. The Oracle told us that the Magi had entrusted you with a fragment of the Magi key? Indeed, this fragment I have. And give it over to you, I will. Good care you will take, hmm? Dangerous this fragment is. We'll do our utmost to remember that, venerable Yoda tree. <laughs> it didn't even identify itself. And there we go. That was surprisingly easy, if a bit annoying. Yeah, and he, he, you you wanted to go full Yoda there, didn't you? <laughs> you almost did it. And yet sad I am. Now trapped in this sacred grove you are. Uh, what? Trapped? But why? Overrun the sacred grove the Sadistas have. Strangers, they can escape they cannot. That's awful. You can't be stuck here. The force I sense in you, younglings. <laughs> Aid you, perhaps it can. It? The force? What force? Are we going to go into spiel here? Find it, perhaps you can. But most surely you, uh, it, will find. What a curious way he has of speaking. <laughs> we have to find it, Goggles. Whatever that is. If there's going to be red balloons floating up from sewage drains, uh, yeah, we're out. <laughs> yeah, but the end of the series is here and there, there then. <laughs> I'm not in love with the idea of being stuck here my whole life. What force is it he was talking about? Are we just going to find a lightsaber? <laughs> and cut our way out. Oh, another one of those things. I'm guessing those are the Sadistas or something. Let me see. Oh, hello. Oh, thanks for saving our guardian. My kin and I will help you. Listen to our advice if you lose your way. Continue searching for it if you want to be able to leave the forest again. Okay, so little uh, helper trees. Okay, 
Okay, this is going to be more annoying with the timing. Because of that. Okay. Yeah, they should have programmed this a little bit better. Just if it's in the if it's next to it, just block it entirely. Uh, almost. I see how it is programmed somewhat. The the lanes are programmed in a warning line on the sides and a death part in the middle. But because when we when there's so little of a path left, there's no space for the warning. So this is very annoying timing. Because we can't even see if we've done it wrong. Hmm. There we go. Oh, you're trapped there. You're trapped there, Stumpy. Oh. Okay. Hmm. A pot? Oh. <laughs> uh oh. What you wake me up for? Man, I only slept about 12 years. But uh, let me have some peace and quiet. <laughs> what you doing here, huh? And who exactly are you, anyway? What? You came to look for the Magi thing thingmajig? And now you're stuck in the grove? <laughs> Jeez, what a dumbo. <laughs> Couldn't you come here, you? It shouldn't have come here, you. Yeah, you know, we probably could use some of the things we have as a fly swatter, right? What? You do know how to destroy the sadistas? Oh, come on, a little baby could do that. All you gotta do is ask a, you know, doll to burn him out. What? You do know how to talk to forest beasties? <laughs> I suppose you human folk can't do much, can you? But you do have strength. This lazy old trunk of ours never left a claw, but you went and budged him, as I am. So here's the plan, Stan. <laughs> I help you I help you chit chat with them trunk dolls, and you help me burn out them sinistas. I mean you did help out at yeah, the geezer, so I guess I can do the same for you. How about it? Sure. Oh hey, I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> of course. Is something happening <laughs> on the background there? Hmm? Yeah, I thought I heard something on your end. But there is loud noises outside from uh, ambulances and such. Been a okay. while for quite a while now. Odd. And yeah, the, uh, the reference here is as obvious as can be, especially with, well, breaking apart and the noise they made. Hey, listen, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> And don't you go complaining about my love for small talk. Yep. Right there. Okay. Okay, so we can send them out. Hmm. Another ghost chest. Respectful chest. Hold on. These are crocs! Apparently. There we go. And now we need to not get killed by that thing as well. <laughs> I, I was thinking the legs looked a little bit routine, like a turtle and such, but... Oh. Croc? I did not expect them to be like, called Troncodile. Like, if I was so Troncodile, I would expect... Something a bit, little bit different. Like also, a laid over log, looking like a croak, not a stump. Okay, Marco, how did you see us if you slept this entire time? I'm guessing the creatures of this forest are in some sort of connection with each other. Hmm. Yeah, they, they might have a bit of a dream state. Okay. 
Like, even if they are uh, sleeping and dreaming, they may have some uh, activity. If you focus now, we can take control of the Truncodiles. Okay. Okay, it looks like these chests are only physical in one specific era. Wait, how does now they look like in 3D, they ask? <laughs> Let's have a look. Hey, listen. I'm in another time, yeah? Come and join me if you want my help. Okay. <laughs> Reference, explanation, and joke in with it. <laughs> Sorry, Margo. All right. We need to go to the first era if you want to con... Actually, we don't need to. Because we can just make ourselves a path. Though that also means... Does that change things here? Since technically this time... Yeah. Okay. Technically everything in the forest here is of the same time zone. Or time era. So if we change things in one time... Uh, in one era here, it changes in all of the eras. Now we can travel very far, but only in our own time. Okay. Hmm. First era. Not the one we need for this one. Let's see then. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Only in their own time. So that was a waste of time. Hmm. But here it's active, so we can't get by. Hmm. Yeah, ad adding a third layer to a puzzle like this is, oh, is quite something. Let's see. We can't punch the, we can't punch him down. We can only make them wobble. Hmm. Let's see then. If we do this here, does that change anything on this side? And there's a chest that's physical now. Okay, I'm guessing some of those chests are going to only have like a... <clears throat> uh, only have like collectible stars or something. Can we make these things move? Yep. Right, yep. Good. Hmm. And how are we supposed to... Okay, we, if we could hit it from there, but the question then becomes, how do we get there? Yeah, so far that mushroom seems to be protecting us. Yeah, it shields us from the, yeah, from the thing over there. Hmm. Yeah, let's Actually... Let's see if it's putting a new pot down there. Or not. Let's have a little okay. test of how far Navi can travel here. If they can travel far enough, we might be able to possess the Trunko Dao. Oh, 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 come on, you can't even fly over water. What sort of freaking fairy are you? One with the same phobia. Uh, wait, no, no. Uh, oh. Will that real count uh, as uh, something very really deep in Dr. Fairy? Hmm. Not, uh, not, not an inability to swim? And the idea I have at the moment is to punch this thing down and trap myself. Okay. Yeah, when it goes dark like that, it basically means one more step and you're going to die. And that does not block anything at all, so, well... Okay, we need to have that thing down, so now we can pass by. Let's do it from the safe side this time. 
We go to the third era. Go here. Okay, it was being a bit picky. And then we send the winged nuisance out. Yeah, open fire. There we go. Now that path is open. Okay, I, I do like these puzzles. They they need a bit more thinking. Yeah, they're all a bit rough on the edges as well. And now we have the problem that... Yeah, we still need to get one of these moving. Somehow. Hmm. Yeah. I will give a little bit of critique uh, on, so far on this uh, level, like... They did a you know, border hiding that the tree was a reference to a yeah, very... Yeah, you should just see it outright Yoda. <laughs> yeah, at that point I'm not sure if it counts more of a... If it counts more of a uh, reference or joke. Yeah, more of a joke, but normally you try to do something. Every knob here... What the idea was with a W instead of a regular V. Yep. Like, really? Hmm. We need to be here to get that one moving. Hmm. Okay, we can use them. Not sure if she or he. And we're all very sound high pitched, I believe. Hmm. Oh, yeah. They make for a good scout. But how do I we guess... move on now? I feel like uh, I am the only one who ever watched Mystic Knights. I've heard of it, but I don't think I've ever watched it. Wait, hold on a second. I had, had some record of that the works. SS. This is a good show. Where there were many male fairies there. Okay. And according to Marco, Navi is a she. Okay. You move I your ass. The obvious, but what you saw, like, oh wait, no, those are the hip. Those are thighs. There we go. That, that's two issues dealt with. Okay. Should be able to cut this. Yep. Okay. You move there. Okay, now when we get back into the other era, and that's the beginning, I think. Okay. Now we can burn that one. This one will be an issue still. We can't get that thing to turn. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Mm. Let's go here, that we may progress. Hmm. Okay. Fairy can't progress from here. But we can send... Actually, no, we... Wait, you can. Wait, can't? Oh, for water. And for some reason, the fairy is uh, hydrophobic. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get myself something to eat. Okay. See you. Uh, see you later, then, Marco. Yep. See you in a bit, uh, Marco. Or later. Okay. Open fire. A bit ironic that a wood creature spits fire. A wrong pun. Well, acid fire? It is green. Mm, it could be something like that. a fairy fire. No. A fey fire. A, fairy. Hmm. a fey fire could work. 
Yeah, Acid Fire, Fey Fire. There we go. And now we have a shortcut to the way back. Now, let's have a look around. There's a Truncodile to the right. Hmm. Okay. Now it's being blocked by the turnips or carrots or whatever. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to need to get the Truncodile all the way over here then. And that's the one you hit from below. Okay, that wasn't saved apparently. Uh, let's see. Uh, Marco, oh, I'm gonna watch the stream while eating. It's just, uh, just not chat till I'm done eating. Okay. Voice choice. Very keyboard. <clears throat> Back to the past. And then we get that move one moving. Though, I don't really get why we wouldn't just be able to just walk out now that we need the entrance. So I'm guessing there will just be plants sprouting up here. Oh, oh, we did the goggles. We're almost out of the sacred grove. All we need to do now is return to our own time. Okay. Oh dear. And yeah, we need to be in the second era to line up. And thus end exit, I'm guessing. So yeah, we just need to find a way to get to the second era and get here. And it'll probably involve getting rid of that sadista through hurting this one around a bit. Cream. The dead face. Okay, then we go to the third era. Move it, because it's not close enough. I'm very doubtful it'll reach that far with its fire. It or like it not. Might. I guess it'll have to do, since we can't get behind it. Or can we? Nope. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, too far away. Hmm. Wait, can you hit it again from the side and will it then run down? Because it has no other way to run. <laughs> yeah, it'll run to the other side here, but not what I meant. The only real way to get in here is to be here faster. So I guess that's the trick? That might be the trick. Let's see. Will it run if we just hit it from... No. Okay, it needs to be a sword slash. Okay. Wait. Okay, so even just running into it is an instant kill. Hmm. You got stumped to death by a trunk. Let's see. We need to be able to get it closer. Hmm. Is there any way in there? First, let's move it. Do it in the 3D era. Hmm. And then it's too old to attack. Wrong way. Hmm. We are the fastest in this time zone. Or zone era. In Malco Betrayus. Still blocked. Yeah, we may just have to rush past it and then give it a shove downwards. 
Okay. <clears throat> Just annoying that we need to go down for this again. There. Let's see then. Mm. Yeah, we, we hit it from the wrong angle. That was on uh, uh, that was on me. Hmm. Yeah, no one. It was merely a joke. Okay. Olay! It still tramples. Okay, but it's still pretty fast as well with that. Now, when it's in when it's in this time zone, it won't attack forward, but we need to be behind it. And there is no sneaky path to get around it. So the only thing we could do would send it back. Oh. Come on! Wait... What? I think it's found an answer. How then? You just hit it badly from the back when you meant to hit it in the side. Yeah, but we still would need an angle on its back. Uh, what do we do? We could try that, trying to hit its back from the side, maybe. Yeah, hmm. for I think you might be able to reach it for. If you're able to reach it over there, then you should be able to do that easily over there as well. Oh. Sent back in time by a slime. Slime time. Sounds like a... Sounds like a title. Sent back in time by a slime. There's probably a manga like that somewhere. Yeah, manga or another online comic. There we go. Let's see about this then. That missed. Nope. Oh, it works over there, but not here. Yeah, the attack needs to come, quote unquote, from behind. Maybe. I'm just going to look up if we really need to get a <laughs> the slime stuck on there. Yeah, we it's faster than us, so we can't outrace it there. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Wait. Is Navi faster? Yeah, they, we can only use them in the second era here. Uh, let's see, self last puzzle. If it just says outrun the thing, then I think we might be done. Uh, let's see. I'd like to see if that's real, so I'm going to search it up. Uh, uh, Okay, that's a straight up lie. You're not faster than it. Unless we've forgotten to get some special boot somewhere. If that's the case. Bloody heck.
Where it? Yep. And was it looking there? It okay. stay there after you okay. hit it. Yeah, because we it didn't finish moving. So to avoid an error, it just puts it back there. Yeah. It's faster than us in this era. Is it faster in this era? You are just a little bit faster. There we go. Okay. I'll say this. I'll say this simply. This is a stupid puzzle having to outrun it and getting yourself killed over and over again. Yeah. It would be much easier if you just made a little path there. Okay. No. Let's head to this time. Actually, no, we need to get back to the first era because the radishes or whatever will block us in. And what did, what did you look up, Marco? Uh, sent back in time but slime. <laughs> okay. No. With that thing gone... Hmm. What exactly did that do, uh, do to help us, though? So now that thing is in the way. Okay, there we can't let it piss off as well. Oh, there it has super long range, but the, not the other one. Yeah, get this at least. I mean, we got a card of them. <laughs> it's not about the range, it, it's about the angle from which you hit it. Oh, no, no, I meant the tree stump had longer range to breathe its fire for some reason on that one. I don't see how to... I don't see how we could... I, I don't see how that benefited us. Besides this... this well, I think they want you to kill all those sadistas, so in that way it benefits uh, us? Sorry, Bob, I can't be leaving this forest. Very folk like me couldn't live in the outside. It's a matter of quantum physics, because I can't be in every time and multiple places at once, <laughs> or some junk. <laughs> hey, not bad, you did better than I expected. Okay, so all of that was just for a card. There are still some of them sadistas in the forest, but I'm guessing you guys have other stuff to do. Come back and see me if you like. Bye-bye now. Hmm. Nope. Escape the seal forest, and there's two more left. Already back? Well then, let's split. Yep. I hope that isn't going to pop up every time they appear. Hmm. Oh, there's a, there's a, a sadistic count in the corner. Yeah. Hmm. Now I'm curious if that is going to affect something or not. In my... Okay, that was easy. Yeah, we may as well give it a try. Yeah, we could, yeah. We could perhaps get a... Uh, oh, it would be nice if we got some more ore. Ore color ore. Yeah, I'm not expecting a big reward or something, but... Just in case there are multiple endings to this game... I'm going to look around. And do this last one, if it's not too annoying. One minutes later, Hillian uh, screaming in pure panic. Uh, no, uh, not you, Fina. There. <clears throat> okay, that brings us back to the entrance. With nothing else there. Hmm. Let's see, for Marco, it will. 
I think there's only two endings. Okay. Mm, so this is just extra stuff. It's only going to give her a reward or something. If, if we, we can work on all, I say, wonderful, then we can get more of that armor. But if we just get another collection, uh, collective star, then we uh, bail. When we bail, uh, when it's, uh, we already done all the hard work. Uh, if if Marco says it is, uh, extra stuff is always fun. Is this just for a star, Marco? Or is there an actual uh, useful reward at the end of this? Hmm, now, where is that last sadista then? Or sadista? Yep. There it is. Okay, now how do we maneuver a truncal dial over you? Well, you have one to nearby. Actually, what, yeah, what? we need to hit this guy. Hmm. Let's see. Will this work if I just try to hit it from here with a big slice? You see what I mean? L look at that damn thing's range. That it was off screen, so that didn't work. Hmm. I but don't know. I forgot about the other one. Then you can hit the other one. It's still going to be in place here. Oh. It didn't change anything here. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, how do we get around? Take out this last one, since all of them just look down the entire time. Hmm. How do we even get in there? Hmm. Wait, are you supposed to hit him against the other roots? So you're just going to go around to easily reach him? It, it might be, it might be something that stupid. Uh, what do you mean? That you go around, push him against the other roots next to him, they go all, all the way around to hit him, for then he is, will be in the uh, screen by a little bit. Oh. It looks like it's uh, such a minute, annoying thing that it could be the answer for... Let's be honest. It's not going to be possible because it's, it would need to go through that route between them, and it can't. Uh, I mean, it will not be go through them, but good enough so you can go to the other side and hit it. But it's, it's... It's side or foot might be visible or something like that. Okay, why didn't that... Why didn't that work last time? I have no idea. And this was as stupid as I was worried it was to be, but still, it kind of... I don't know how many people worked on this. If it was a person, I would cut us on Slack. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's a small team behind this, but yeah, they really should have done a bit more quality control here and there. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've seen something like this in some. Uh, in some uh, Phoenix Wright fan games, where you you just have to make such leaps of logic at times there, where it's clear that the creator worked backwards from the solution without keeping you know, enough context that you would be able to figure out the solution uh, without knowing the answer. Yeah, that, that that's not how you should do it. Now we need to get to the or, second era. Or if you want to, like, if you want to plan out the solution first, 
Do you really need to know how to connect it well with the rest? Let's see. Is there any path here to a second era porter? Yep, this one probably. Actually, no, that brings us to the third era. give you a shove, so at the very least you are not going to be moving backwards, or at least not enough to get out again. Hmm. Okay, how... Let's look down here if there's one of them. That one would low it leads to the third era, I'm guessing. And that thing is too small. Let's see, we have we have moved through here in the second era. Question is how do we do so again? This is kind of not needed. Hmm. But why didn't we go thing? around through that again? If we try to go here in the second era, those things are going to be grown up and blocked away. How did we get there in the second era? Anything but the first era is... And these things will block everything. Too bad Velvet's found a book of ice spells and not fire spells. Hmm. Yeah, I, I get the feeling we are, are just really wasting time with this, so let's give it a few more minutes. If we can't find a solution then, we're just hanging out. This will kick us straight to the third era. Actually... There's probably something behind the mushrooms. Yeah, very likely. Then, then third era. Okay, second era. Second era, okay. Now we send out the gnats. And deal with that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Woo! You blew up all. Uh, uh, <laughs> I. I think you blew up all them sadistas. This, this is a glitch. This was not supposed to happen, I'm pretty sure. Pretty strong for a human, ain't ya? Hurry, let's go and see the Yoda tree. Uh, that was a placeholder. That was very much a placeholder, I think. <laughs> what the heck? Alright. Now we don't... Right, we still have to deal with those stupid things being hostile. <laughs> okay. Now we gotta wait for these stupid things. Somebody uh. said... The one we had to move them around and was not able to reach the radish or something? These old ones have... They have this long range. And they have a lot more... It's it's a lot more clear where they can hit and such. Do you think since we have someone who can talk to them, they would be not hostile anymore, but they're well. Uh, okay. Let this reward be worth it and not just a stupid star. 
Oh, freed the forest from the sadistas you have. Rewards you, I must them. And it is... A cards. The whole forest thanks you for your aid. Er, for your aid, thanks you, the whole forest does. Okay, not worth it. Woof! It was not. Menace, hail reach. Okay, at least, the these at least these Truncodiles can only attack in one direction instead of all of them. Yep. Same issue with the line of sight, though. Okay. This one will send us to the third era. Yeah, hopefully we still have a card, but still... For is a card, really? Uh, I'll say these puzzles were more interesting, but yeah, not not too well executed here and there. Okay, uh, just up here and around. Yeah, like. I think we say this again for in comparison to today. Like Davis, well, case and all. This game is a bit rough, and they have some hit and misses. Yeah. Like they, they obviously tried. Just again, hit and miss, and a bit of rush. Oh. There we go. And just get out of here. It's a third, yeah. Quantum bullshit. Okay. Next time we're coming back with the fly swatter. Uh, Marco. <laughs> Reward not uh, not worth was. Burn forest, shall I? <laughs> okay. Anything to say on that? You find the magic key fragment goggles. Your choice draws nearer still. Okay. So just nothing to say. Wait, hold on, hold on. Go up again. I saw something weird. I saw something weird. Oh, never mind. I thought I saw two Bomberman. Okay. That could have been a lot better. Could have also been a lot worse. But at least we got the stupid thing. So now we can hunt for the last piece. So. Get out of here. I, I kinda hope we're able to finish it in the next stream. Hopefully. Hmm. I, I think I'd be a bit annoyed if this somehow is equally late as long as Dave the Diver. Yeah, I, I'd rather spend uh, five to however how many more or however many more uh, streams it will take with Dave the Diver. Then with this game, like, again, in general, it is good, but it's not great. Okay, now where's the last thing? Impressive. You have the fragment of nature. Sometimes I'd like to remove myself from time, like the Sylphs did. But I know it would only be an eternal prison. And what I need, and what I need, you know, what I, and what I need is the ultimate freedom. Come and see me if you... Yeah, that is exactly what we're coming for. Ultimate freedom? That sounds kind of concerning. Okay. Goggles. Yep. There is said to be a special Magilith in Windy Valley. It supposedly grants access to the fragment of time, the most shrouded on mystery. Information about which fragments... Okay, so just go to Windy Valley. Hmm. Okay. I'd, for I'd forgotten that that was the place that they pointed out. I thought we would only we would only gain access to it once we found the other pieces. Hmm. Well, hold on to your hat. 
Let's see. So there's a Magilus supposed to be somewhere around here. Holy crap. You all lost your hat. Oh, wait, yeah, you never had a hat to begin with. Yeah. That thing wants... <clears throat> that thing wants three mana to upgrade Fina. Hmm. If we go here in the... In the third era, the future, then this place has been converted into the training area. Hmm. Maybe there is something we can find still. I feel, I feel sad that I didn't do the voice actively, Yoda Tree, but I think I could do sort of a voice for him. Okay, you can do it on the next uh, Yoda character. <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> where would that be? Okay. I still would have liked it if there were more of these Magilists, or at least points where we could travel back and forth. It would make it a bit more easy to get to different eras, in di uh, different locations, different eras. But oh well. Okay, for a second I thought we couldn't enter for some reason. And yeah. Hello. I know you. Long time no see. What are you doing here then? We call this place Windy Valley, but the Wind Guardian hasn't been seen here in ages. One can actually try to get the wind going again, but he died in the attempt. Anyway, as you know, none of that really matters. Okay, I, I, that's supposed to be Sid. Is this... or is that supposed to be Sid's? Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Let's see. Top Mount Alpha, you'll find an old temple dedicated to the Great Destroyer. There's also a rusted out doohickey in the corner. It looks like some winged machine. Weird, huh? I wonder what it, meant, it was meant to do. Yeah, we already flew off with that thing, and we can't enter. Let's see. Five years later, he'll let Drakir voice the next Yoda character, but that time still hasn't come. Hmm. I don't really need. I don't really need to walk to the center of the island every time, but I will. Um. Alright, fine. We'll send her to the center of the earth then. Will that make you feel better? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I, I think the game could have he could have there had a lot of help from a smaller sort of magilits here and there, like yeah, mini lids or something. I kind of guess they wanted to emulate as much of the old school feel as possible, and many of them were. They can usually end up have to guess a lot unless you knew to be actively getting gaming magazine yeah that's where Sid is going to be setting up so uh, did allow you to call in the the game company to ask uh, hints and such we can't break open the wall hmm then I have no clue what to do here. All right, died. Yeah. In the meantime, going back here. That's Everland Two. Can't. Windy Valley. Fragments. That might get it. Okay. 
Okay, it's loading, so I'll just wait here for it to finish that. <laughs> okay, let's do something different. Okay. I'll just look up fragment of time. There, it's the, it's the top search, or it's the most searched thing. Okay. Let's see. Yes, Ben had problems with that. Like the best I can think of right now is to talk to the inventor, but every time we come and we've gotten close, he's chased us away. Okay, that's a roundabout way. What? Uh, yeah, apparently we need to return the flying device. Um... Not... Ain't it kind of... Uh... Busted. Yeah. True. But if we give him the end... If we give him the product of his research, then he'll be able to, well, research it further or make a better start <clears throat> and make a, well, not stupid version. And then he's not going to be dead in the future. Okay. <clears throat> I hope you will uh, be correct. And uh, ain't that with her? Hmm? Who I forgot the name of? Uh, we left it at the top of the pyramid, I think. So unless the Prophet is going to make an encore, I don't think we'll see much happen here. <clears throat> okay. We can just enter. And straight up here. Okay. That thing nearly killed me. Seems busted anyway, so I don't see what good it would do us. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Uh, of course, some random German answering in German. Like, seriously, people, if you're going to reply to something on the forums, use the language previously used. Um, mm hmm. Okay, apparently there's a new reaction he has if we get into his workspace, and that allows us to get it. Okay. Yeah, on this I'd say this is another bad moment. Like if it's going to if it's going to be needed later, just give it. And don't give don't give a specific trigger that needs to be passed. Before people will grab it. Like, some kinds of special trigger makes sense. But there also been the moments where it doesn't make sense. Yeah. And this, this is one of the issues I have with some RPGs like this. That sometimes they will just... Uh, <clears throat> sometimes things will change without actually it being visible or something that has changed. Like, if he was standing in a new spot, maybe, then I'd, uh, then I'd accept, yeah, he, he, yeah, he's going to, uh, or he might react differently, but if he's in the same spots, doing the same thing as when last we interacted, then I would, res I would expect to get the same result as well. Also, Menace, when the hell are you going to take that stupid thing off? Oh no, that might not be his uh, prison card. That might actually be his uh, necklace. Oh no. I think it's still from the prison, but we'll see. Yeah, each time we entered before. Yep. You're still here? You think I have time to waste? I came before some peace and quiet. Now leave. I'm conducting very important research. Yeah, that's the same thing he did before. 
You came here to mock me, didn't you? No. Oh, really? Well then, let me tell you... Okay. I expected that if we walked further, he would chase us off again. And just repeat that. Uh, well then, let me tell you a story. All about how my life got flipped turned upside down. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a mad scientist, a terrifying man whose knowledge derived, uh, derived from mysterious sources. He ruled absolute power with even the ability to create new life forms. But one day he disappeared without a trace, leaving his son fatherless and alone. Are you that son? Sid the Seventh or something? Yeah, that was my father. I barely remember him at all. He abandoned me while my mother died, and I was only four years old. Ever since, I've been trying to outdo him by creating what no one has successfully made before. You will scarcely believe your eyes. A flying machine. I know, it sounds crazy, but with enough hard work, I believe I can do it. Even if it takes the rest of my life. Of course, if I had a prototype to work off of, there we go, that's the line that triggers it. That would make the task considerably easier. Now, I was just calculating lift, aerodynamics, and temp temporal gradients. If tempor that's time travel. But just, why do you need to be thinking about time travel with a flying device? That, what? That, that's what I mean, Marco. That you expect you not, to not get anything more from them. He, I think that that might have been a Dr. Wu reference they slipped in there. What, the temporal with bit? Yeah. Like, they, I think they have had a mention like that in the TARDIS at times, so I feel like it was a rather weirdly placed Doctor Who reference. Okay, is it a reference to Doctor Who or Warhammer? I think you said Doctor Warhammer Who, before. I said Doctor Who! Wait, wait, did I say Warhammer? I, yeah, you said Warhammer first, I'm pretty sure. Oops, I meant, uh, I meant Dr. Boo. <laughs> yeah, not the uh, Jurassic Park Doctor Who, but the, the Doctor W-H-O. Who? Marco, I just explained why I kept walking away from that every time. Like, every time he runs up to you and tells you to piss off. So there's no real... Uh, there's no real incentive to move forward because the expectation is he'll just tell you to piss off again. It's quite a fascinating machine. I have to wonder who manufactured such a thing. You think we'll need it later on, Goggles? Yes. I agree. And they also could have just let us pick it up a lot earlier as well. Probably wasn't, hasn't flown very far, or very long. Well, very long at the absolute least. Sometimes I wonder where you keep all this stuff. Don't ask, and don't tell uh, <laughs> airport security. Uh, let's see, Marco, I just do it to, so I piss off the NPCs. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, again, this game isn't bad, it's just some very, very annoying flaws here and there. Like having to go out yeah. to sail every time to swap between eras. It could have used a bit more time and planning. Yeah. Right. One, one very easy thing I would have said to do would be to make this thing just allow you to swap anywhere you want, and if there's, if it's in a puzzle area or something, you can just say error or something's interfering. But if you need, like in the Sil Forest, it wouldn't work there, because according to that thing, you'd still be in the same time zone anyways. With time zone, time error. But yeah, nothing that can be done to it, and also I'm not in the wrong time. I wonder how these... I wonder how these pirates are thinking about the, <laughs> the quartet of people just walking back and forth constantly past them. Uh, take some breath here. Maybe you started to lose your grammar. 
Okay. You just said, okay, I'm not in the wrong time zone. The proceeding would change the time zone. Okay, we give Sid his life's work so he can make, well, works of his <laughs> life's work. Okay. How, how are you hanging there, my friend? I'm just annoyed with how much backtracking or back and forth tracking more there is with this. Okay. Oh dear. You seem quite exuberant, perhaps possessing a hidden power. I would have wanted a son like you. So let me know if you ever come across a prototype for a flying machine. Uh, that's rather specific to ask for. Even if it's incomplete or damaged, I could use it in my research. Oh! A flying machine? A flying machine? <laughs> okay, he is very excited. Where'd you come across that? Not important. Thank you. Thanks to you, my dream of outdoing my father will finally come to fruition. I'll be able to examine this prototype and build my very own flying machine. It will most certainly take many years, but it will ha but happen it will. What is your name? Goggles? Well done, it's a promise, Goggles. My first flying machine prototype will belong to you. Let's get cracking. Okay, at least hopefully you make it better than the prototype we just handed to you. I just started yeah, he's to compare very fast. his goggles to goggles goggles. <laughs> uh, let's see, the pirates. I swear I saw these people walk past 16 times already. What do they need here? We can just say that we're burying treasure and that'll keep them busy just digging up the entire islands. Okay. Hmm. The question is what we're probably going to be flying around Windy Valley with this thing. But where to? Like we know hardly anything about this fragment of time. So yeah, you you probably could uh, if it wasn't that we knew that it was supposed to be in Windy Valley, we could have looked all around this damn place. Yeah. Maybe if they'd given a bit more of a hint, like supposedly at the top or where the winds come from or something. It looks like different now. Yep. Because this time he didn't die. Or well, he still died, but a lot less. Uh... Hmm. <clears throat> Now he died as the inventor of a flying machine, not as the, the idiot who thought he could fly, make a flying machine. Okay, that's a very clear reference over there on the left. Even here we saw weapons. Why must men fight on and on? Will there ever be a place without war? A place of eternal peace? Piranha plants? <laughs> oh, really? On the wall? Oh, come on! Okay. Um, <laughs> Going okay, from... Let's see here. House of Stark. Link Shield. Captain America. Then we have Link Sword and... I don't know those other two swords. Yeah, the lowest one is the Buster Sword, even though it's shrunk oh. in the wash. Uh, the middle oh, one? I, uh, I was first Wait. thinking Frostmourne, but that doesn't look that much like Frostmourne. No, that can't be so caliber for that it will be completely double two blades instead of just one suit. Also red and with a big ass eye, I believe. No, no, that, that, that's soul edge. Okay. So caliber is the blue one. Also, can you read the little text on the barrel underneath the Stark shield? Oh no. <laughs> Acme. <laughs> uh, I Actually, let me Smack look up you? what... All right. No, ack me. Not at me. Let me see what it actually... I should have expected that. <laughs> what is the meaning of that? Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. 
Okay, the point at which, in the dictionary, it means the point at which something is at its best or most highly developed. Okay. Uh, but what does the acronym stand for? Uh, okay. <laughs> now I'll find it out some other time. Let's see. Are you looking for something in particular? We sell all sorts of rare items. Let's see. Lucky wind swords. That, that will actually lower our defense, though. Everything under the sundar? <laughs> well, finds all the chests. Okay. And a lucky, lucky necklace gives we can double... Almost afford it. Yeah. That uh, gives double gold. And yeah, there's the buster sword again. Or more specifically, the buster sword. Is that one on the wall a different one then? Hmm. Anyways, we'll buy this. Wear this item and you'll double the gold you pick up. Okay, with that we should be able to get 3,000. Um, do we have to specifically equip it or something? Or is just having it enough? I think you're already wearing it. We can sell the old steel stuff. Still keeping the old sword just in case. Thank you, come again soon. Wait, did I see something on the right there? That's Marco. Marco, the third scene is from Game of Thrones. How stark. Yeah. Okay, it was just a cuckoo clock. Okay. Yeah, this place is a lot to... more developed. Yeah, don't forget to talk with the one who was brooming the area. Oh, no. Brooming, wrong. sweeping. Okay. Have you heard about Goggles? He's our village hero. He helped Sid, the great inventor and founder of our village, craft the very first flying machine. Then he up and vanished, just like that. Without a trace. Some people say he was an alien who came here in an interdimensional spaceship. Sounds pretty crazy, huh? Well, his father vanished is, like him. Is it just going zero or did I miss you misreading? Uh, what? Did they call Gogos a real zero or hero? No, a, a village hero. Oh, all right. Shame you don't got a flying machine. I got a sweet course set up with an amazing prize if you win. Hmm. Okay, that's a problem with him vanished. We can't get the flying machine. I left the capital to move here. The fresh air and tranquility uh, you get up on the mountain feel so special. <clears throat> it's a pity most folk don't get that. Of course, if they did, everybody would flock here and it wouldn't be so peaceful anymore. Hmm. Okay. What's this then? Hello there. I've you need a room? Hey, wait. You, your goggles. That's right, the one and only goggles. That means the legends are true. You've come in search for, of what the great inventor Sid promised you. Is something the matter? That, yeah, yikes, a demon. <laughs> uh, no problem, sir, none at all. How do, do I put this? It got stolen or lost in it. Well, you see, it turns out the great inventor said indeed it created your flying machine. We kept it safe for you. In fact, we placed the machine atop Mount Alpha so no one could steal it. But it seems to have disappeared. I'm so sorry, I don't know how something like that happens. It was right there on the mountain and then it inexplicably vanished into thin air. Yet, not a soul was seen entering the cavern. I'm truly sorry. It's a wonder anyone committed uh, such an act of thievery, Solid Snail. Again, I'm very sorry. Yeah, I know this isn't much, but I can give you permission to explore the major ruins nearby. Within lies a great big chest that no one's been able to open. Seeing as you are the famous goggles, however, it should be a piece of cake. Major ruins? Mysterious chest? 
<laughs> Count me in. <laughs> Let's go there now, goggles. Yeah, for a moment I thought this guy was going to be a reference to Aang or something with his hair like that. But it's, it's not arrowy enough. Uh, where does this lead? It is this way, and then that way. It, oh, it's a, a new Magilith here, okay. This chest is quite a find. Based on the inscriptions, it contains something very valuable. Could it be the fragment we've been searching for? That would be too easy. We'll have to figure out how to open it first. Okay, and now we can change errors in this area. But first, let's have a little look around more. Yeah. Uh, you still don't... Had the guy with the broom said anything new? Hmm. Oh, oh, hello, Mana. Okay, that means we can upgrade someone. We know where the upgraders are for Fina and for Velvet. For Menos, I have no idea. Hmm. Let's see. Things are rather different since you last visited. But perhaps you have, uh, we have you to blame or thank for that? Regardless, you know quite well none of it really matters. Are you aware of things changing, old man? And yeah, this is very clearly Lucas from Earthbound. Or Mother, I, I forget us. He's in Smash. Hey, you ever climbed to the top of Mount Alpha? My grandpa says there used to be a guardian or something in the cave up there. I'd say it's behind the boulders blocking the way. But you can't go and see anymore, it sucks. Okay. Now we can actually get in here again. And not that way. Okay. Well, luckily we have someone who eats those boulders for breakfast. Maybe also for lunch and brunch, but for dinner he'll just have some granite. Oh dear gods. What are we to do with Hillian? The sap is slipping from him each and every day. Mm -hmm. There's some blocks there. Okay. There was a hint to something. Unsure. Okay. I call spitting mushrooms. Okay. Uh, probably more likely spores, but they look like spike balls. Okay, we have been here before, so um, maybe there's something, maybe there was something in that old spot, but we already got it. Yep, thought there were spikes there. Let's see, there was a chest there, but you picked it up, according to Marco. Okay, that explains. Yep. Hmm, I wonder, do the disciples still use this place? As a training ground? Building up earlier. Damn it. From Marco, I only, only watched one episode of Game of Thrones. That explains a lot. Okay, yeah. Any contact with the spikes is instant death, especially if you hit your head in them. <laughs> yeah. If we put you a crystal to the skull, that's very pointy. Very high li risk of insta death. Yep. Also getting crushed under a boulder, apparently. Well, yeah, that, that's not the kind of type. That's not the type of crystal skull that people usually talk about. <laughs> really, Helian? Also, that was that was not a boulder. There. Okay. It's a rock block. 
Right. Damn it. And a crystal up your arm <clears throat> is likely not healthy. Yeah. Okay. Oop. I got close to another impalement. Let's see. I believe there is something there that we've also already collected. Yep. Okay. Now go. Now we're going to have to deal with this again. Fight with Steiner today. Oh, hello again, Lara. Yep, Clara Loft. Yeah, you are not well. Ever since I was a little girl, I've dreamt upon everything a certain Magi secret. It's something called the Anomaly. If I locate the Anomaly someday, I'll be internationally recognized. But seeing as I don't know what it looks like, for now all I can do is search. Actually, while we're here, ready for a game of cards? Let's see. Alright, we need to... Uh, what was it again with this? Let's see. We need three to play the card there. Actually, we can't play any cards. Or can we? Uh, oh, yeah. We can trade these in for points. Uh, there we go. Yeah, based, a simplified version of Yu-Gi-Oh, sort of. Oh, they sacrifice all. Okay. That was... Uh, so the one is free, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I forget what that is with... Let's see. I hear... It's, it's, there is something with that symbol in the upper right. I forget what that does, but I'm guessing it means... we. Okay, it's not that we get extra points or something from sacrificing them, but let's sacrifice them all the same. There we go. Probably should have put the bear after uh, behind something. Oh, okay, he's got that. And oh wait, I think I get it now. For every, you get extra mana when those are on the field. Uh, let's see. You can attack from behind. Uh, you need a lot. Let's put you behind the bear. And sacrifice you. Sacrifice you. Yeah, see? Extra mana. Okay. Oh, Viking. Yeah. Pirates. Pirates? Okay. You can take those out. There. Uh, yeah, the Yoda tree is a big tank with 12 HP. Let's burn both of these. Actually, I probably should sort of put the uh, slime in front of the pirates. But oh well. Let's see. The pirate is OP and I hate it, says Marco. Okay. I'm guessing that has to do with their special ability there. Let's see. Mm. We burn the bear. <laughs> really? <laughs> Blomp. Okay. Let's see. Can we get dulk? We can get dulking if we sacrifice both of these. There we go. 
He's a big old ball and hits hard. Oh, oh, okay, that thing does five damage. Okay, that's... That is a hurt. <laughs> that very much. Okay, you... Now let's put... Let's put you behind Dawkin. And sacrifice the squirrel. And there we go. Okay. You're very lucky, you know. There, you deserve this card. Okay, we can oh. crush her. Oh, come on! I just noticed something. They did not have to do this. What? They added eagle feces on her. <laughs> okay. I was stoning her mother to see her. They sort of made her like her character, past a lot, and I noticed. Oh, that her chest you know, your face proper instantly. I feel like okay, they didn't need to go that far. <laughs> okay. Is there anything? Yep, already got that as well. <laughs> Marco reacting. What? Yeah, my, I, I made that word state as well. For I did not expect to see it there. Okay, these, these can't be flipped. And also, I was looking at her in general, like uh, the shorts, the hair and all. <laughs> sure, sure. Yep, yep, straight in. Okay. You couldn't hear what I said. Ah. Alright. Stupid bats. Wait. Yeah, what what Rakir said is that Clara there has jiggle physics. Yeah, I don't know why they added that. <laughs> what a joke of it. Probably. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, wait. Are those really bats? Mm. And they don't have legs, but they're as close as them. There. Are you killing flying snakes? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. As I said, I'm inspecting her hair, clothes, and everything. I thought, all right, they got no wrong clothes. Well, then I noticed that eagle feces on her face spawn right away. Okay, the little freeze area. And like, once again, we're throwing velvet in the water. Uh, uh, open it, please. There we Okay, it was really being specific. Biblos? Okay. What is a Biblos? Uh, hmm. That can't oh. be Bilbo, can it? The path goes down over here, well, uh, Goggles. Wanna head down back to Windy Valley? As you wish. Uh, so we did all of that for basically nothing. I thought maybe we'd find him up here or something. Hmm. Could have done this. They, they could have done the animation on this a bit faster. Huh. Okay, so that was all for, well, not nothing, but just a card. So not worth it, if you ask me. Also, Nick, can't we just use that stupid path to get back up? If we were to need, if it were needed. Yeah, okay. No, no, we need... Hmm. I need to figure out how to the bloody heck open the chest. No, well, we know we <clears throat> we'll have to use the Magilis for that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. 
I so, kind of in. This mentally seems distinctive. I'm a bit worried it could send us somewhere perilous. What if we end up in a volcano or at the bottom of an ocean? What do you say, Goggles? Should we take the plunge? And we have nothing else to do? Whatever you say. Hello? Oh no. Where do we end up this time? It looks rather unlike my time in any case. Too green. Whoa! <laughs> Astounding! Find something, Velvet? It's a miracle! We are actually in the era of the Magi! Are you certain, Miss Velvet? Of course I'm certain. These stones are textbook Magi era, but look at them. They're like new. Freshly cut, well-maintained. We could meet actual Magi. Gosh, I can't get over this. <laughs> How long I've dreamt of getting all my questions answered. And now it's a real possibility. What sort of questions do you have? There are so many. Where do I start? Where their knowledge derives from? What they believed in? Most of all, why they mysteriously vanished? The civilization produced uh, so many marvels. Not, in met not many DCs, though. And they were capable of time travel, no less. What could have happened? Guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> Uh, Marco. Yeah, Game Boy era. I get it now. We're going through the handheld console eras. Uh, more general console eras. But yeah, this this is the Game Boy era. I really hope there's no talk of a great disaster here. Ms. Fina is right. We had best explore this era for ourselves. I'll I'll try not to step on the butterflies. I'll be worried if we enter the Atari era, like the really early Atari. <laughs> Old times. We have traveled to the ancient times. You are clad in a strange dress. <laughs> There's a Hoffman among you. Then you must hail from the Molecular Research Center. Those people are, are, are all a little screwy, if you ask me. Okay. This is one of the prime locations of anomaly-centered research. We study its properties and then come up with amazing inventions. Anomaly? The mantelets were designed using data taken from the anomaly. However, they are not yet operational. Oh? Perhaps one day we'll be free to roam the timescape, as it were. The anomaly goes as far back as our oldest records, but we have only spent the last few decades analyzing its makeup. The data have been, have, has been most illuminating. Perhaps our research will be used to prevent the end of time. So, if the, if the Magilists aren't operational, then how have we been moving through time? Unless that's just a side effect of something? The end of, time's in, the end of time is looming. The Great Destruction will engulf time itself. We need to find out how to prevent it, lest all of existence cease to exist. Well, Stakes just got uh, tied to a rocket and sent past Pluto. Using data from the anomaly, we invented a terrifying item. Judging from our experiments, it allows one to erase anything from the timeline, making it so it virtually never existed. We call it the Key of Time. Because of its potential for misuse, it was divided into five fragments. Each piece of the key was given to a separate island. We had won ourselves, and after much debate, we decided to send it into the anomaly. Okay. Thereby ensuring no one could ever bring together all five fragments. Well, that's um. just fun dandy for us. Without a doubt, the power within the key of time posts you know, pose too much of a risk. Then again, perhaps the world will require such power to withstand the Great Destruction. Were we wise to keep it out of reach? 
And yeah, as Marco says, this is the, <laughs> this is the same era that the tutorial takes place in. Uh, also, apparently, even back in these times, there was this card game. <laughs> okay, let's just quick... Uh, okay, I was half expecting this to be in GBA. Okay, we toss you. And then we put... Uh, no. Slime up front. And then Navi behind it. Or, wait, can I not put you behind it? Ah, there we go. Okay, you, you can't move a car to the back line from the start. Okay. 20 health to 20 health. Okay. He brings out the old man. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a Magi. Oh, bunch of big guards. Okay, let's see, we can sacrifice you for three. You, you are strong. You hit for a lot. But what does this with the sword mean? Let's see, you pick me a three uh, from yours. I think the one with the bow can shoot from the back line. Yeah. I wonder what the axe means. For now, though, Dawkins gonna murder an old man. Okay. One of those things. Uh, hello, Sids. Okay. Bear. Uh, it can take a hit from this thing. Now he can survive a hit. There, they'll take care of that and sacrifice that one. This, this, the core of this is actually rather nice. Yeah, rather nice. Not too deep, but it's not supposed to be. Yep. Let's see. Sword means it can attack the axe and any other without getting counterattacked. Okay. Uh, let's see, we can get one for you and one for you, so we can't get you. Uh, we, so we just get rid of you. And let's see. There's going to be a trade on those, I think. Or actually, no. Okay, I got that wrong. Sit in the middle and another old man. We're, we're just raiding, uh, we're just raiding <laughs> an elderly center, aren't we? Oh, no. Let's see, they'll take care of that. Wait. That'll take care of the bot, I hope. Oh, oh. okay, I get it now. The sword means that they strike first, and hello? The other hell is that? Did we accidentally get a spoiler? Uh, let's see. We can get two for you, three for you. There. Hmm. Let's see. I might make a fool of Marco. Might be the own version of Sauron for all you know. Oh, yeah. The bear can't attack from distance, so that card was wasted. Okay, and we've lost. Okay. You were so close to weirdy, but you flopped. Yeah, they, they kept up the, they kept up pressure by just constantly getting more mana. Your cards are laughable. Yep, screw you. Some of our colleagues say that time travel should be restricted, warning against the potential repercussions. But we have highly secure protocols, a temporal modification could never happen. After all, we're only interested in collecting data, not in altering the fabric of time. Okay. I don't know what those guys at the Molecular Research Center are up to, but apparently they're using our data to build some kind of huge machine. I sure hope they know what they're doing. No, obviously they're not. Oop, it's a timer. Here at the center, we examine the anomaly's physical properties. Its diameter has changed very little over the last few centuries. 
Nothing that goes in can come out again. At its, at its horizon, space-time disturbances have been detected. The anomaly seems to swallow up time itself. Pretty amazing stuff, wouldn't you agree? Okay... Yeah, we're definitely looking at something world-ending, a literal time-ending. Chest? Yeah, and saved! Uh, up there, okay, I didn't recognize this as a chest. And... No, we can't... Uh, oh, we can't open it anyways, it seems, Marco. Okay. And saved. Yeah, I was fully expecting we would end up back here. But... Now I am curious as to what the hell is going to happen over there. Okay. Let's exit. And, yeah. But we'll have to figure all of that out next time. So, for now... Let's go look for someone to raid. So, but, change but, the window. Said, next weekend. Hmm? Yeah, next we time we... Visit... Yeah, next time we stream this in next weekend. Yeah, likely. <clears throat> Let's see. Not too many people are on. Redacted Cat is streaming Rise of the Triads Ludicrous Edition. Sour Walrus is streaming Starfield. Chubbers is online with Dark Souls Remastered. Hisaya Rosia with Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. I'm nice with Wild Hearts again. They haven't played it in a bit. Uh, Rainia is also playing Starfield. So is K9. And ooh, Horatius has gotten a big boost in watches. He's at almost 200. Yeah, have we seen him over 100 before, but... Yeah, not that much. Mm. Uh, I'm guessing he got a big boost from uh, being on Takahata's uh, show. Possibly, like... I think we've seen him at 152 or such, but... Yeah, he's getting closer to 200. Anyways, any of those sound interesting, or shall we look for someone else? Uh, it's either Starfield or something else, mostly. Um, Redacted Cat? Let's, uh, let's go with Redacted Cat. Okay. And when you say Redacted... Okay, they're in their pre-stream. Oh. Yeah, Maybe that's... not then. That way it explains why there are not so many that are watching yet. Yeah. Uh, nice then. I've been directing a few uh, raids from other people to Nice when they couldn't think of someone to raid. Uh, let's see. let's do Nice then. Okay. So there. Copy the name. And then slash raid paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco, for chilling along. And thank you as always, Bakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. Uh, let's, uh, Marco has a suggestion. Let me take a quick look then. Uh, General Eid 16. Let's see. Uh, gen no, General JD. Okay, General JD 16. They're online. Let me take a peek. Okay, they're playing Persona 3 FES. Them or nice? Mm, is it nice? Okay. Maybe next time, Marco. Okay. There, put it in again. And yeah. Uh, if everything goes right, we'll be able to do another stream today, as has become more than usual. And we'll... If Rom is available, we'll do more L.A. Noir. If not, then more Owlboy. Yep. And I'm excited for both. Okay, so yeah, I'll I'll go ask Rom when he's online, and uh, yeah, if nothing goes um, if nothing goes too long with evening dinner, we will have either more detectiveing or more owling. <laughs> or hooting. Anyways, thank you all again for watching. Let's get that race started. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then, uh, yeah, <laughs> until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. I was out for zombie seagulls. <laughs>